Hello guys, this is Brad on YouTube, and uh, I threw together a little top 10 list for you guys. This is on Robes08, aka Mark, and uh, I just thought it'd be kind of fun to put together a top 10 list on why Mark is the fragrance guru. And uh, if you're new to the fragrance community, uh, you might not know who Mark is. If you have been in the fragrance community for a while, you definitely know who Mark is. Um, so I just kind of threw together a little list here, and... Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, maybe, if you have uh, some other uh, suggestions as to why he's the fragrance guru. Uh, be sure to comment below. But here's what I came up with. Number 10, it's one of the founding fathers of the fragrance community. Um, if you go back to the very beginning of YouTube fragrance reviewers, uh, I think you basically had, uh, if I remember correctly, you know, my history is not, you know, my strongest subject, but uh, I think it was Tim Cubby and Mark were two or the three, the bigger, you know, reviewers from the beginning. I think Cubby may have been the first, you know, but Mark is certainly uh, one of the, the first ones in, and that has a big impact because uh, nowadays the uh, fragrance review uh, spectrum is very, very uh, packed, and it's hard to really make a big name for yourself, uh, today because uh, it's, it's kind of easy to get lost in the shuffle with, with all the other established reviewers plus trying to draw in an audience when there's so many other reviewers out there so being one of the founding fathers is a big plus number 10 and number nine video output he has you know around 300 reviews or, or uh, videos that's a lot of videos uh, i think there might only be one other reviewer with more than him I uh, couldn't tell you his name at the moment, but uh, yeah, great job with all the videos. Number nine, eight bottles. Um, a lot of the reviewers are basing the reviews off of decans, samples, minis, or whatever. Mark, pretty much, he's going to give you an authentic full-size bottle. And that's what the, the public wants to see, if, if possible. They want the sprayer, the box, the serial number. Uh, they want the authentic juice in the authentic bottle. So that's what you get with Mark. Number eight bottles. Uh, seven, age factor. I say, uh, you know, Mark, uh, just the right age. You know, he's you know, old enough that you know, his nose has had a chance to uh, season and uh, you know, figure things out. You know, it's not easy to sniff a fragrance and figure it out uh, when you're new to things. You need probably a few years to figure out. Um, how notes work in fragrance and uh, he's young enough still that he can appreciate a lot of the popular fragrances with the college and high school crowd as well like Lamal and stuff like that so yeah age uh, works in Mark's favor I think number six and this is the big one he's Canadian um, and if you know about the fragrance community you know a lot of your best uh, reviewers are from Canada you have uh, Miguel you have Cubby you have Mark and, of course, Isaac as well. Um, uh, four great reviewers. They're all from Canada. I'm not sure what it is about Canada. I think maybe it's that Canadian Rocky Mountain air, but uh, they all seem to have great noses. I think uh, that crisp, clean air just kind of uh, flushes out their sinuses, and they can really sniff out the notes really much better than us guys here in America. So number five, niche and designer. Uh, with Mark, you're going to get uh, the full spectrum, whether it's uh, the Montel, or the Amouage, or the Puma, Nike, uh, Adidas fragrances. You know, he's, he pretty much covers all the bases there. So, you know, don't feel left out because you can't spend $200 on a bottle of fragrance. Number four, Fragrance Idol. And uh, last year uh, was the start of Fragrance Idol and uh, really launched a couple of great channels, Skinny54 and the eventual winner, Dan, my makers, two great channels. And this year, we're going to see another edition of Fragrance Idol and hopefully some more great channels in the next few months. Three, detail. Um, Mark's videos tend to run a bit long, but he covers all the bases. So if you just wanted to watch one video and there any possible element of a fragrance, you watch Mark's channel. And uh, you can just base your decision just on his opinion if you want because he covers all the bases and you don't have to do any additional research. Number two is pronunciation. Uh, if you know Mark, uh, he definitely seems to have a French background. Um, he never has to think twice about how to pronounce a word. It just kind of comes naturally. Rolls off his tongue like the water off of Niagara Falls. You know what I'm saying? So pronunciation is great. And number one 
is that James Bond intrigue factor. Um, if you know Mark, um, usually he'll leave uh, Canada and go overseas for about three months, a couple times a year. So we're pretty much getting maybe six months of Mark doing reviews and six months of Mark being uh, absent. And uh, there's a lot of intrigue and mystery going on there. Nobody knows for sure why Mark goes overseas for three months, uh, but uh, I think that's part of his appeal, you know, all that intrigue and mystery and everything. You know, don't they say I'm, a woman loves a man of mystery? Yeah, so there you go, guys. Ten reasons why I think Mark is the fragrance guru. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.